right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Presenting the passionate town of Liverpool, Merseyside, England. Here is the gorilla, Darren Till. This is a man unto himself. Very special fighter in the man. He's a very special young man. He's a very special fighter. And the people are drawn to Darren Till. If you witness a Darren Till walkout, as you are right now, you understand that it's very special. He has that star quality. But that star quality means nothing. If you don't have the fighting ability, Darren Till definitely has the fighting ability. What a great frame for this welterweight division. Not always easy for him to make the 171 pound limit, but at least until further notice, Darren Till is a welterweight and a contender at that. All right, both fighters have graced the octagon, and that means we are ready to go with live action from the Scotiabank Arena here in Toronto, where some of the best fans in all of MMA have come out to see our fights here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi! And now, Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Darren the Gorilla Till. Referee Herb Green Dean fight. will handle the action Ready. in the octagon. Good. All right, we get another look at Darren Till as this round gets underway. This is a man who has headlined for the UFC five times. He fought for the UFC welterweight title against Tyron Woodley back in 2018. And now he believes he has rounded out his game. He has worked on his takedown defense. And if he can keep the fight upright, a lot of people believe he is one of the more talented, accomplished strikers in this middleweight division. And, of course, this round begins on the feet. Well, this kickboxer is a layered striker, and look at that, he is out to prove it early. A beautiful body kick, and on the other side, the boxer has that sort of filter down high guard, yep. and paid for it there in the midsection. He's gotta bring those elbows down if he wants to defend that kick. But this is the investment, going to the body. These body kicks may not seem like they're gonna pay dividends now, but they will as the fight goes on. Oh, how good is that kick? Joy gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Real quick leg kick. All right, early action here and a nice 
nice hook by the boxer gets home on the kickboxer. This is exactly the range in which he wants to be fighting. Yeah, because it limits the kickboxer, and the kickboxer has a very high guard. So if you're tight and you just pivot with the hook, it lands around that guard, and he does a lot of damage with it. So as we pull up some numbers here for you, 29 total strikes have landed for Darren Till. Just over three minutes to go, round one. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice counter with the hook shot there by Choi. Beautiful body kick. Joe's hook shot blocked though by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Oh, Till gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Big shot lands for both guys. Back to the jab now, no good. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Unable to connect with a right hook. Oh, lands another shot to the body. Beautifully placed as he continues to... Oh, flying knee to the head! See, every time the gorilla throws and lands, you hear those oohs and ahs from the crowd. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh, good jab to the body by Short. Left hook counter there yet again. Oh, nice. Start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. 45 seconds remain in the round. All right, so there it is, yet another strike to the body. Feels like that was what the game plan was rooted in coming in here tonight. Absolutely, John, and you could think that he's setting him up to go up top. Or, honestly, if he continues to land at this rate, at this target, he could finish him here. So I wouldn't change anything unless he makes you. Under 20 seconds now to go. Oh, Till gets hit with a kick. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Second round, straight ahead. All right, take a seat, buddy. Breathe, buddy. Relax. Let's slow that heart rate down. Let's refocus. Okay. You're not winning the stand-up war anymore. I need you to get this fight. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. All right, here we go with round two. All right, next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he could see almost everything coming in his direction. He's so well-versed, he's so skilled in his defensive fighting that nothing is breaking his defenses. Fortunate that one didn't land 
to the head. The hook shot blocked by Till. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Really using his reach advantage to great effect with that punch there. Missed with that right hand. Pretty good connection there, yeah. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Till's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Big shot lands. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Oh, big elbow. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Nice head kick. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. So big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his moves. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We got to start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. The Korean Superboy gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Lands another one of those beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice. Oh, beautiful lead kick is good there by the Korean Super Bowl. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Looks like the cut man to my right is starting to get anxious with all the high volume of strikes being landed here. He has really kept his opponent on his heels throughout. He's had him on his heels. He's got him reacting. He's reacting to the feints. He's reacting to the jab. He's reacting to every single thing coming in his direction. He has got to find a way to change the narrative, to change the way that this fight is playing out if he wants an opportunity. But to this point, this boxer has looked amazing. Beautiful strike. 20 seconds left. Well, we talk about these calf kicks all the time. Don't want to take too many more of those. I cannot believe how damaging that strike has become. Oh! All right, hip toss, and he is able to take him down. Beautiful execution there. Great job knowing exactly what he wanted. Moving the position oh. left and stepping in with that right leg to load his opponent and flipping him through. Great move. We love the big move. They're right. very excited. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. 
he's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure Ready takedown fight. after takedown. Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round. He's our man. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Hill's blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. He's almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. And this dude's cash and chips. So a nice shot landing the counter there, and that's really the book on this guy. He is a counter striker. He waits for his opponent to engage and then tries to use that aggression against them. That's exactly what he was trying to do there. Three minutes to go. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Across the midpoint of this one. Attack that cut for me. Let's go. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Till's yeah. been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. Stay focused. So there it is, longer reach paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Lands a nice leg kick. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Great body kick there. Ninety seconds to go now. Oh wow! How about the roundhouse kick? Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, nice body kick. Joy gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Till's really bleeding something fierce now. That cut's not getting any better. We got the best cut men in the game. Got it. Oh, he it. He it. oh my goodness. Great block there. Both guys appeared to land there. Choi's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh! Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of it. A lot of times that comes with reps. That comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish it because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. 
Man, his counters are on point tonight. The jab is good. Potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round as they attend to that pretty nasty cut in his eye area. You got to lock in defensively, man. You cannot be out there just fighting. His opponent is too high level to try to fight him with his ego. Now he's dealing with a nasty cut over his eye. Why do you need another thing to manage when you already got one of the best fighters in the world in front of you? Ready to fight. Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five, five minute rounds. Whoa! Down in the stones to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Pressure, pressure, pressure. And just misses with that big right hand. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Big right hook there by the champ. Punch coming, it's blocked. Work, work, come on. Oh, uppercut. Right, so the swelling becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face, or is he just swollen from the struggle? Oh! Oh, he smells blood in the water. Got to start looking for the finish here. Oh! Leg kick. Looking to land the leg kick now. His nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled. It is cut open. I think it's probably broken at this point in time. Surgery next week. But now we'll see if mentally, physically, he can stay in this fight. Looking to land the right just out of range. Nice jab. Oh, well, you can still attack the thigh, right? We talk so much about calf kicks, but that's been a pretty effective weapon for him here tonight. It's traditional. It's a traditional leg kick. Just throwing your hip, bang, whipping it into the thigh. Beautifully done by this fighter. Good fight here, under two to go. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Though. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal. Till's an absolute mess right now. There's blood everywhere. I'm not so sure they're not going to stop this fight right now. Gets tattooed by that straight punch. Four strikes to the head. That punch, no good. Till's kick to the body is blocked. Oh, lands another big shot on the feet. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but 
nice work here in that position by Darren Till. Side control is pretty safe there. North-south position, crowd just can't help itself but to left. The young belly. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. Get that good wrist control now. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Big shot to the body. While this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie, I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career. That'll do it! Do Ho Choi gets the finish! <laughs>